Oh, there's two bad guys there. And what is over here? Oh, it's that guy! Oh, son of a... Bitch. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're playing Castle Quest on the BBC Micro. And as you can see, this is probably the most challenging game ever devised for the BBC Mi Micro. I like how they threw in the probably. Like, they weren't entirely sure, and they didn't want to overcommit in case some better games came out, but they were like, yeah, yeah, I think this is probably the most challenging game that, that, was ev that ever could be devised for this system. Um, and actually, you know what, they were not underselling it. This is, by many accounts, considered to be the best game on the BBC Micro. It is an action-adventure puzzle-solving platformer, and by the way, it's also known as Castle Raider, so you might know this game by that name. There is also, by the way, a Castle Quest, one word, on the NES and Famicom, and its Japanese title is Castle Excellent, which is totally awesome, but that is a different game than what we're playing today. Anyway! Uh, without further ado, we should actually hop into the game here. Um, now this game features uh, some pretty in inventive and ingenious programming. So as you can see here, this game features smooth scrolling, which is nothing to sort of shake a stick at. So as you see, the game scrolls very smoothly. You can even also uh, scroll the screen independent of your character if you want to like peek to the left or right, which is actually really cool. So one of the things that early computer games had difficulty with, and one of the things that made Super Mario Brothers on the NES so cool, is that Mario could scroll, and early PC games had a lot of trouble with scrolling. These are little monkeys, by the way. Um, we will deal with them in a second. So the, the scrolling on this game is actually really ingenious. In fact, the, the whole design of this game was is considered to be a technological uh, feat that was quite impressive for the day. So we're going to trap this little monkey in here. These little monkeys, by the way, are afraid of the torches. So if I hold the torch here, he'll walk towards me. And then he'll get afraid and walk back into that pit. We're trying to lure them all kind of into this uh, little cubby here. You'll see why in a second. So as I say, this is a puzzle-solving adventure game. It sort of looks Indiana Jones-ish. You know, you can jump. There's platforms. The screen scrolls. There's ladders. You have an inventory system, so you can pick up things and put them in in your inventory. Later on, we'll learn how to fight. You know, this game is honestly like quite impressive for its time. Um, but the actual story of this game is that there is an evil wizard in a castle, and we have to find his treasure and take it. And that's really all there is to it. We're we're robbing an old evil wizard. So don't feel too bad for him because he is evil, but we are kind of just thieves. At least Indiana Jones waited until people were, had been dead for thousands of years before he bothered to, like, raid their tombs and stuff. This guy is just like, I don't know, man. This guy, I heard he's not a good, not, not, not such a good guy, so we're going to go ahead, break into his castle, and steal his stuff. Um, so anyway, here, I've got a torch. I can go ahead and put that in my inventory, and then you see the inventory at the, the top of the screen there. Then you can take things out out of your inventory like that. I've actually mapped all the controls onto a Super Nintendo controller because there's something like 13 keys for this game. And the keys are a little weird, like Z and X moves left and right, colon and slash up and down, return jumps. Uh, then you have P for pick up item, D for drop item. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite complicated. And suffice to say that uh, I mapped as many keys as I could onto the Super Nintendo controller. Although you can throw items. Oh god, where did that go? That flew far. Um, and I wasn't able to map all that. So this game has more buttons than the Super Nintendo controller can can uh, can handle. Which is quite a lot. Anyway, let's uh, scare our little monkeys. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, we screwed up. So this is the first puzzle in the game. And what we're basically trying to do is lure a bunch of monkeys towards some spiders. So I think, actually, we want it, like, there for future reference. Oh, God. Get this torch. So what you got to do is, like, lure all the monkeys into this little cavern so that they all bunch up because you're going to need them. 
And they are not bunched up enough. All right, get in there, you little, you crazy little monkeys. The monkeys, we're going to feed them to a giant spider, and that's how we're going to get a sword. Of course, right? I mean, that's how adventure games work. There's always some, like, bizarre logic. It's like, steal a piece of gum, and then set the clock to noon, and everything will work out just fine. Okay, so if we do this, then we'll have them go in there. Do this. That's not going to work. Ah, uh, we screwed it up again. Okay, hold on. I did this once before when I was getting ready for today, but I kind of forgot how I did it. Ah, oh, they know their place. They're heading right back into the little uh, bungalow. Okay, I think I actually do remember how this works. So they go down like that. All I have to do is block this, and they go down like that. And then what I do is I block them here, and then I rush over here and prevent them from climbing up the ladder. Oh, no, I <laughs> screwed it up again. God damn it. This opening puzzle is rather tough. Um, here's a fun fact about this game, though. The, the smooth scrolling technology was so impressive that they actually gave it a name. Um, the smooth scrolling technology in this game is called Scrollorama, which is actually pretty hilarious. Um, so yes, the fact that this game is scrolling is thanks to Scrollorama. All right, there they go. The monkeys are heading off towards the spiders. And we can now... Oh, no. Oh, run for it! <laughs> Damn it. I scared the monkeys back. So I picked up the sword, but it was too late. Okay, we're gonna try this game again. Here, that's actually pretty cool. When you die, the screen scrolls to the right, but immediately to the right is the starting screen. It's kind of interesting. Here, I'll show you show you what I mean. Like, uh, let me go up here and get killed by a guard so you can kind of see, see what happens. Woo. Um, by the way, pros of this game can beat this game in about seven minutes. Uh, hold on, hold on, actually, watch. Watch the screen scroll. I think I'm dead. Uh, re restart? Ha wait, how do you restart? Escape. Yeah, see the screen scroll to the right, and now we're back at the, the starting screen. Pretty neat little feature there. I kind of like that. Um, but yes, pros can beat this game in about seven minutes. I think we are already close to that if we have not surpassed it already. So we'll see how long, if we can even beat this game. For those of you who watch my channel, you know I don't necessarily beat every game. But I figure if a game can be beat in seven minutes, maybe there's, a, maybe there's hope I might beat it. But for the most part, we're just here to have some fun with Castle Quest here. Um, oh, there we are. We trapped all the little monkeys. No, no, you get back in there. You get back in there. Okay, I'm going to drop the torch and go get the other one. So what, what we're trying to do, <laughs> damn it, we're trying to get the sword so that we can actually fight those guards so they don't kill us in one hit. So, all right. Let's try this again. There we go. We snuck past him. Got the torch. I like how this game kind of combines different games of the era. Like climbing the ladders and stuff like this kind of feels a little Donkey Kong-ish. Uh, but then having to, like, figure out the puzzles here kind of actually feels like adventure gamey, you know? Like, it feels a little bit like uh, like the Sierra Adventure games. Not not nearly as sophisticated, and it is more of an action-y way to do a game. Uh, well, that guy does not know where to go. There we go. We we'll simplify your life for you, buddy. I'm going to put one of these in my inventory, in fact. Keep luring those guys in there. They kind of look like little lemmings. Almost. If they were white with green hair, they'd be little lemmings. You know, squish these guys into a ball, into a high-density high ball of monkey. Get in there. All right, I think that worked. Seems to have. Drop that there. And then F3, retrieve. Okay, they come down here. We scare them back. I like how the monkeys fear fire. Sort of makes sense. All right, there you go. All right, now, the trick is to not run too far past the monkeys. There we go. Okay, store that, take that, store that, and then retrieve this. No, wait, store it. Retrieve it. Boom. All right, we did it! Woo! Woo, that, that is actually kind of terrifying. Uh, all right, we have successfully gotten the sword. In fact, let's go ahead and take our sword out. And look at it in all its glory. Let's slaughter some monkeys. Oh, you can't. Monkeys are immune. Look at that spider there. All right, so we are at the second phase of the quest now. Now that we have the sword. 
Okay, so now I think the goal is to use the sword to- Yeah, look, we can actually fight these guys. hi -yo! I didn't actually do anything there, by the way. I just stood there. So once you have the sword, you can just sort of automatically win fights against these guys. There's no skill to it. Like, my hand is off the controller right now. I just won. Um, but that's okay. There is a little ruby over there, and that is what we are trying to get to. So I'll store this, pick this up, store it. All right. Now that we have the ruby, apparently what you're supposed to do is get captured. Apparently what you're supposed to do... Oh my god, what is that? What was that? Was that the evil wizard that we're robbing? Um, I th think I'm dead. Okay, did I get captured? You fell three lives off. What? Oh, okay. Oh my god, look, there's checkpoints. Huh. Oh god, he killed me. Am I, am I dead? Oh look, I, I'm captured. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have been captured. I was like, did I screw something up? All right, we are now in the second part of the game. Uh, now what the hell do we do? By the way, if you press start, or I mean on my controller, if you press start, uh, what's the actual button in the game here? If you press I, you can get item info. So you can see that we've got a stool here. And if you press I again, you get your score. My score is still zero. All right, so we're locked in this, this jail trying to get out. If you go out, the guard will kill you. So here's what you do. You throw this... Okay, hold on. You jump and throw this stool up, and then you can go ahead and get the torch. Then, if we jump on this stool here, we can jump up here, and then we can select the torch, uh, bring it out of inventory, retrieve, and then you can jump and throw it on the bed, start to fire, then you can get the hell out of there, and you can jump. Oh my god! Okay, hold on. This guy, is he coming to kill us? Oh, we screwed up. We're dead. <laughs> okay, you have to do this fast, I think. But you use the stool to climb the ladder and get the hell out of there. Oh, and it brings us back over here. All right, let's get back to jail. It's awesome that this game actually has checkpoints, though. I really appreciate that. This, you know, for a game of this era, this is, like, remarkably sophisticated. Okay, we jump and throw that. All right, get those two things. We're going to go ahead and throw the stool down. When you stand on the stool, by the way, it doesn't scroll you. That's kind of funny. Um, anyway, we jump up here. We're going to go ahead and retrieve our torch. Okay, we got to do this fast. Throw that. He goes in there. We pick up this. Oh, God. We just oh, Actually, that probably works out for us because it will give us the most time to get away from him. There we go. Can we go and get our stuff, I wonder? Like, could we get our sword? I think we could, actually. Like, I feel ballsy. Once he goes to the right, okay, here's our plan. Once he goes to the right, we're going to go and get the sword. Once we have the sword, we can just fight our way out and get everything. All right, give me the sword. Oh, shoot. Retrieve. No, wait. Nope. That, that, retrieve the sword. Okay. We can fight our way out of this. hi -ya! We have done it. Let's go kill this guard who was guarding us. Oh, he just dies instantly. He doesn't even put up a fight. They had the crappy guard guarding us. Okay, can we store that too? Yeah, I'm just going to bring... Oh, no, wait. Actually, I need the stool. I was going to say, I'm just going to bring everything with me. But... Oh, the guard has respawned. I challenge you to a duel, sir! Okay. Retrieve. Drop. And then we want retrieve. Boom, there we go. I'm really getting the hang of it with all these buttons. Uh, also, I like how the cursor, notice how the blinking cursor is just there on the screen, but it's like scrolling with us. It's kind of funny. You make that appear when you press start. See where the cursor is? And then now it's just there. Um, anyway, off to the next section. I don't even know what to expect here. We, we've done, we've, we've lured monkeys into the, the gaping maws of a spider. We've escaped from a prison. Are we supposed to go down here? What's happening? Okay, I'm just going to let go and hope this works out. Oh, there's, oh my god, there's a little hidden passage. I didn't even notice this. Okay. So I guess we're going here. Can we jump up here? We can. Oh my god, which way do we want to go? I guess this is like stairs. Oh, that's, that's ground. I thought that was like a pit. All right, we're going to go this way. Man, this, this castle is elaborate. Whoa, god! Into, oh my god, I thought I was dead. Oh, I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> it took him a second to die. You drowned. Oh, I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, at least... Oh, man. I'm, I'm loving this checkpoint system. All right. Well, let's 
Try and oh, we landed on a bridge. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, uh, let's keep going this way. We died. Damn it. Maybe I should have climbed down the ladder. Game over. Well, at least we know what we're doing now. So while I get us back to where we were, um, here's another fun fact about this game. In the first three months that this game was out, so first of all, it was a technological wonder when this game was created. The things this game does, I mean, put it in context. Th these are like some sophisticated puzzles and adventuring uh, for like a 19, I think it was like 83-ish game around that time. But like, I actually really like that it's not all just... Um, you know, shooting and killing and stuff. I have long, long, long been a fan of uh, games that make you sort of think your way out of puzzles. And I've long wished there was a game that would let you like talk your way out of trouble and stuff. But that seems to be like a really hard thing for developers to get right. Um, I mean, games have done it. But in order for a game to make it really fun and an interesting mechanic, I feel like that is like really hard to do. And so developers have been working on it, but it's, it's challenging. But the idea that there's more to a game than just shooting and killing guys, I think is actually kind of interesting and exciting. Um, so this game, yeah, I like like it really, it really does sort of interest me, this game. Um, and um, here's that fun fact I was, I was promising you a second ago. When this game originally came out, the developer for the first three months offered a cash prize if you could uh, beat the game. Which is actually pretty cool. I know uh, other developers have done uh, things like that uh, in the past. And let's get our torch out. In fact, we don't actually even need it. It's just going to distract the monkeys. There we go. Um, other developers have done stuff like that before uh, with these cash prizes. I, as a kid, always missed out on that, by the way. Like, when I was a kid, I, I, I don't think I ever really played games when they were brand new. I mean, <laughs> it's 2000 and whatever, and I'm playing a game from 1983. It's not like too much has changed in my life over the years, but I was never the kid who, who's always playing the newest game. I mean, I did play some games right when they were brand new. Certainly I did. But I also, even as a kid, was playing games that had been out for years by the time I got around to them. And, uh... And so I feel like there were other companies and other times when developers had done stuff or like, oh, if you beat a game like when in the first year or if you beat the game and you like mail away, you get like a special something or money. I always missed out on those things. So, of course, I missed out on this one. I mean, I, I'm playing it for the first time ever uh, now. Um, but, oh, they just straight up caps you. All right. Well, at least we got to this part without dying. Um, but I think it's really cool. Uh, really neat. Oh, shoot, my sword. My sword was not in my inventory. It is way over there. Okay, can we still do this, I wonder? Okay. Anyway, I just think it's really neat when developers actually support their games um, and try and do stuff like, uh, you know, giving giving players, like, little prizes and stuff. Because it probably doesn't cost the developers all that much, all things considered. But, all right. We got to concentrate here. Let's start a fire on our bed. Take this thing... Then we gotta drop it over here. We gotta get on this ladder ASAP. All right. And then once he goes by, all right. Oh no, you dick! All right, there's one life down. Um, that's good actually for us though, because yes, yeah, so it will give us an opportunity to store our sword. So we want to get captured without the without the sword in our hands, because then it goes into the inventory. All right. I like how it takes three guys to put us in jail. You know, like we're we're too much, we're too much muscle. We're too uh, too aggressive in order for just one guy to do it. Also, don't put a don't put a guy in jail with a stool and a torch. That just seems like you're you're asking him to escape. It's just my own personal opinion there. But all right, oh my God, get the stool and drop that. Oh, oh God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, get all this stuff. Get the sword out. Oh my god, my, my palm's like sweating. Retrieve the sword, you fool! Kill these fools! Oh god. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Wow, I like how the blinking cursor is still there. Uh, just like in the wall. I don't know how it got there, but uh, whatever. Oh, now it's over here. That's weird. Uh, I don't know what the logic of that is. All right, I feel like we're getting better at this game. Again, pros could beat this in, what, seven minutes? And we're already like, 
what are we at the 20 minute mark? So we're, we're, we're no pro, but I think we all knew that. All right, here we go. Jumping to the bridge. Ha! Oh my God, that actually worked. Oh my God, retrieve your sword, you fool. Oh my God, these are red guards now. These guys are actually tougher than the other, uh, the other group, I guess. I, I assume. I assume those guys were tougher. They actually didn't feel very tough. Is that an item there? Oh, we just picked something up. What the hell is that? Okay, hold on. I have an idea. We can actually... Oh my god, I died. <laughs> the guys just spawned right on me. You are dead. Two lives left. Where do we start? Okay, at least it starts us off back here. I was going to actually use the game system to see what I had. So rather than look it up, uh, I was actually going to try to play within the game. Use my, my, my gaming senses. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, yeah. All right. So we need some capacity. We need a scuba suit. Okay, there we go. We made the jump. Kill these guys. These guys are aggressive. Oh, my God. What the hell? They... I was fighting one guy, and the other guy came up and killed me. Game over. All right, let me, let me save you guys the part of the game that you've already seen. And we're back. Fancy that. All right, round two with the damn... Red guards. Huh! Okay, we made that. Come on, buddy. Oh, are you kidding me? He can kill you on the stairs? You know, this is one of those cases in video games where, like, the first time you did something, it was easy, and you didn't realize how hard it was, and then every time that you come back... Oh, my God. You, uh... Every time you come back since, you screw up. I do... One thing I do wish this game had was better jumping mechanics. Oh my god, I missed it. Are you kidding me? Oh man, this guy is definitely no Super Mario. He does not, his jumps do not control as well. Game over again! Again! This game is supposed to take seven minutes for an expert f Seven minutes for an expert to complete. Oh my god, again! Okay, I'm worrying too much about like bonking my head. I'm not even making the jump anymore. All right, we made it. Son of a bitch. You guys do not want to know how long it took me to get that jump to work. Alright, let's kill these stupid red guards. And get whatever that thing was. That This thing better be totally awesome. Okay, we kill that guy. Go up here. Oh, look, they respawned already. Take that item. Okay, they're going to come up to try and fight me. They're going to come up to try and fight me. Maybe I should get out of here before I try and uh, inspect my item. Okay, hold on. Let's just do it fast. What is this? Air! What? Oh! Does this let me breathe underwater? Okay, let's get our sword. Oh my god. You kidding me? Hey, look, I figured out how to do this part. What is this? Inspect. Sword. Oh, wait, I'm holding the sword. Retrieve this. Retrieve. Retrieve it. Okay. I can't retrieve it. Wait, what is happening? A gold. All right. Well, we'll keep that, I guess. Let's just see what's over here. Because I feel like... Oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening? There's an evil wizard. What is... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Where's my sword? Oh, good. He can't. He can't follow me. Uh, give him my sword. Let's go kill this guy then. I guess. Yeah, you want some? Oh, he just killed me. <laughs> what? The troll has killed you. Two lives left. I didn't know there were trolls in the game. I can't get out of this pit. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What's going on down here? Anything? Nothing. Okay, here's here's my plan. There seems to be stuff going on with the water here. Let's go and actually... Son of a bitch. Let's go and actually try and get that air and see if we can swim around in the water. I think that's the key. All right, we got the air. Kill the guard. Let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, you jerk. Okay, we got that. Just gonna stand here. Get everything nice and ready. Okay. And retrieve! I have my air. I can breathe! It's a miracle! Okay, what is this? Um, hold on, drop that. This, oops, uh, what is this? 
uh, inspect a coin. All right, we have a coin. I don't think we need torches anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead, so store this, retrieve this, drop that, take my air. Um, okay, hold on. What what was to the left? Before we go down that big ladder into who knows where, now that we can actually breathe, let's see what we got going on in the water. We're making progress, guys. Oh, there's two bad guys there. And what is over here? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, son of a... Well, it's nice that the game starts you off here if you die. Okay. So we can go kill those two uh, yellow guards. That's actually pretty easy. Let's go kill them and see what we get. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so I've continued to play around with this game for a little bit, and I've made a handful of interesting discoveries here. So over here is where we were actually encountering that troll. And if you hold on to, like, a gem or something then he basically will take that and not kill you. <laughs> so yeah, you do have to just pay the troll toll. Um, and now we were back over here where all the, you know, crazy stuff was happening. Get this oxygen tank. Then store our sword, retrieve that. And we do want this bucket. Oh, we missed it. Okay, whatever. Um, all right, now... Oh my god, we jumped and died. Okay, that wasn't part of the plan. Oh my god, we lost our oxygen tank! I'm getting better at that jump. And if we pay the troll our ruby... Oh my god, he killed us! All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna leave the ruby on the ground this time. There you go. Alright, then when he comes up for it, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna get the hell out of here! Oh my god! Store the ruby! Run for it! Oh man, we made it away from the troll. So getting away from the troll is all about, uh, you know, just uh, being sneaky. Sneaky as you can be. Alright, let's go ahead and equip our torch here. Let's, let's herd some monkeys! The monkeys are actually the most annoying part of this game. Uh, if you don't herd them exactly correctly. Then it basically res This is like the slowest thing in the whole game is the monkeys. I've done this part like a thousand times. I'm still screwing it up. Fear the fire, monkeys. Go and get eaten by some spiders. There we go. All right. I'm going to put the torch away so I can no longer control the monkeys. And I'm going to take the sword, though. And boom. So here's the lair of the witch. Um, I'm completely ill-prepared to face her. I have uh, no weaponry. I have no buckets of water. I can't even make that jump. What the heck? Why can't I make that jump? There we go. Um, this is actually a pretty tricky part of the game. Actually, I'm doing pretty good. There she is, and she killed us. Yeah, apparently with the bucket, if you just dunk it in water, then you can actually throw that at the witch. I don't know if this is actually going to work. I, ha I also think we definitely need that stool. No, oh, and we died. <laughs> All right, so I broke down and I pretty much just looked up uh, a walkthrough. So, all right, people, let's do this one last time. My name is Gaming J, and this is how you beat Castle Quest. Get the torch, herd the monkeys, pass the spiders, get the sword, fight the guards, get the ruby, get captured, go to jail, Break out of jail. Kill more guards. Escape with the stool, though. Don't forget the stool. Kill some red guards. Get air. And take a leap of faith. Stash the sword for later. Go get the bucket and fill it with water. Trick your way past the troll and herd those monkeys one more time. Get past the spiders. Ignore the wizard. Enter the witch's lair. Jump the chasms and douse that witch with water. Get the wand and use the stool to get out of where you got the wand. Grab the coin, because why not? Use the air one last time. Climb back up to where you stash the sword. Jump the chasm, kill the last two yellow guards. Throw the wand into this random piece of wall and you win. And uh, yeah, that's the game. <laughs> 
that's it. That's the end of the game. You just throw a wand at a brick and you find the treasure. How would you even know to do that back in the day? I don't I don't even know. But yeah, that's that's the game. Um, you see, it's not actually that hard. You just have to know the order in which to do things and you have to be really good at doing things. All things considered, I think Castle Quest here is an awesome game for the BBC Micro. So it's, you know, obscure with crazy secrets and stuff, but there'd be so much to explore as a kid, like trying to figure out, oh my god, how do I kill the witch? You know, like, how do you kill the guards? How do you get the sword? You know, it'd be so satisfying as you figure out each piece of this puzzle. And on top of that, it's so... Uh, interesting and intricate definitely it's more than just a typical game back in the 80s where you just shoot everything on the screen or whatever like you actually have to kind of like use your brains and there's different ways to solve these pu well there's not different ways to solve these puzzles but there's different orders in which you can solve the puzzles and there's just a lot of interesting mechanics and yeah overall i i think this is kind of a really fascinating interesting game um so i completely agree with the idea this might be the best game uh, on the BBC Micro. Um, so yeah, there you go. What do you guys think of Castle Quest here? Is it a game that uh, you grew up with, that you remember? Do you remember hurting these damn little monkeys and making them get eaten by spiders? Again, it is. I think it is the most tedious part of the game. I wish it was a little less tedious. I wish after you'd done it like once or twice, the spiders were like satiated and you didn't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, there's there's so much to explore here. The castle isn't that big, but it's actually pretty big if you know what I mean. And just figuring out what all the things do and how to escape the jail and all that stuff. Really, really neat. So all in all, you know, for BBC, as far as BBC micro games go, uh, I give this one a uh, 5 out of 5. So uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of uh, Castle Quest here? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, guys, uh, I appreciate you checking out today's video. I hope you had fun. If you did, don't forget to show some love by liking the video, sharing this with all your friends who might have grown up with the BBC Micro. That is the number one thing you can do as a fan to show your appreciation is help share my videos. Post it on websites and Reddit and forums and all that. Um, but yeah, anyway, other than that, uh, I hope you guys did have fun, and I will see you soon with a new video and a new game, so be sure to tune back in soon. Alright guys, peace. Okay, hold on, I have an idea. We can actually...